Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin today. Yes, we are. You guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're up 73% this week. Feels good, doesn't it? I mean, hell, we are down probably 70% still from the all-time high. Let's see here. High to where we are now. 79% to be completely fair, but hey, I'll take it this week. I, I think I could speak for all of us whenever I'm saying this is a good week to see everything I've been asking for for the past three or four days now. Um, it's coming to fruition. We are, we're doing it. We're doing the thing right now, guys. Now, <clears throat> there's still a lot that needs to happen before we are completely absolved of going lower than this price here, before we can confidently say that we are on the path to higher highs, right? As of right now, this very well could still be a lower high in this trajectory of lower highs, right? <clears throat> Though it is exciting. It's really hard because it's like, you see 73% in a week, it's like, that's exciting. But but really it's like, you're looking at this, it's, it's just a lower high in this trajectory. There's no real reason to be excited yet, unless you're short-term trading this thing. Unless you bought down here, there's no real reason to be excited. But daily RSI, showing the strongest readings as of now, if the day closes here or higher, this will be the strongest readings that we've seen since our all time highs, guys. Hold, hold on, hold on real quick. Gotta clear my throat out, man. I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's something stuck in my throat. I love seeing this. I really do love seeing this a lot. The volume is the most volume today and yesterday. Already, man, today. We've got so much time left in the day, too. And we've got already more than half the volume yesterday. We're not even halfway through the day. Uh, most volume we've seen really since March, the very end of March. Um, coming out of this low, coming up, like it, it looks really good. It looks really, really good, you guys. So uh, I just want to go over real quickly. I'm going to pause the music here. I want to go over real, real quickly. Actually, you know what? We're going to let the music finish. Why not? We're going to do it. We're going to go over where we need the price to get above before we get too excited, right? So relative high to relative low. Getting above the 382, closing above the 382, which we haven't done yet, but getting above it and closing above it is the first step. It's the first step to get excited. That's why it's so exciting right now because it looks it looks like I mean, we, have a, we have a lot of time left in the day, but it looks like we're gonna get this close above this line here. The next step is closing above 6015. We're at 60117 right now. We need to close above that 618. Once we close above that, that that's gonna kill two birds with one stone because we're also, we're also closing above this blue line here and then we'd be closing above the golden ratio. So let's let's do that. The final boss, as it were, is up here at six zeros two two. Now, if we can close above that, previously, previous to all this, right, the, the final boss was this zone here at like six zeros three, right, or six zeros two five. Is that right? Is that the right area? No, I thought so. Yeah, six zeros. 603, yeah, that that used to be the final boss. But now, given the current circumstances we are, I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, closing above 603 would be nice to see. But I think if and when we close above 6022, that's gonna be all the all the uh, validation I need to, to be convinced that we are on our way to new all-time highs. Um, if we take the all-time high here to the current low that we have, assuming that that's the low, assuming that we don't go lower, the 618 is right there at 60247. That's also, I suppose, another area to take of note. This whole little area here, this whole area of resistance kind of that we had in the price uh, needs to be taken consider needs to be taken into consideration. Really, I suppose, looking at it now, looking at it this way, I would like to see us close above 60247 before I'm completely convinced that we're done and we're not going lower. Though I will say, I'm getting pretty convinced right now. We have a lot to go, but I'm, I'm getting pretty damn excited with this. Let's, let's see how we go. Good job, Jesus Coin holders. If this isn't the move we're looking for, if this isn't the low, and this is just another lower high that will send us lower, so what? Bring it on. We'll buy more. I know we will. I'll buy more, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, as of right now, I'm just enjoying the ride up. I hope everybody is. Uh, you know, if you're if you 
wanted to buy Jesus coin down here, but you didn't, and now it's up 73% this week, you're in a tough spot. Yeah, I suppose it's better to have some than to have none, but I don't know. It's not in me to chase. I would wait for like some kind of pullback. You know, Even if it's really quick, I'd have my eyes on the charts 24-7 waiting for a, a significant pullback to a previous area of resistance and support You know, like this down here at about 708, 709, that area. And as soon as I see it down at like 709, I wouldn't even mess around. I'd just pull the trigger, but it might not even go there. That's not promised. Watch us. This is Jesus coin, guys. Watch it do the things Jesus coin does. Like for all we know, we could be up a whole nother hundred percent by tomorrow, by the end of this day. But I don't think we will. But I'm just saying it could it could happen. Um, anyways, guys, good job, good job, Jesus Coin. Great to see. Finally, the most volume we've seen on a weekly basis too since the beginning of April. We still have a few days left in the week too. Let's see how we do. But yeah, this video went on longer than I thought it would. I didn't mean for it to go on this long, but here we are, and I will end it there. So take care. Hit that like button, and yeah. We'll see you guys. We'll see.